In this video, I just want to quickly reintroduce you to an idea that you know, but you may not have seen in quite a while. You'll be asked to find what's called the perimeter of a figure, and you'll be expected to do this where the perimeter is going to be given to you as a polynomial. So let's refresh ourselves on what the idea of perimeter is. Anytime you have a polygon, a closed-in figure made of lines such as this, we can talk about the perimeter of that polygon as the distance around the center. Uh, imagine you pick some place to start on the figure, and then you travel, you walk, all the way along the outside of the figure. <laughs> Lost track of things for a moment there, I apologize. You travel all the way around the figure back to where you started. Perimeter is the distance that you would walk. So when you're asked to find the perimeter, what we basically want to find is how far to go along the outside edge of this. If we're talking about reality, if this was a yard, how much fence would you need uh, to cover that whole yard in that triangular shape there? So the way we do this is by adding up the length of all the sides. And these numbers you hear, or numbers you see right here, represent the length of each side. So V plus 8 represents that length, V plus 5 represents that length, V plus 3 that length, so on and so forth. So if I want to find the perimeter, all I have to do is add these three together. So if I add those three together, I will get V plus 8, that's a polynomial, so let's put it in parentheses, plus V plus 5, plus V plus 3. And since this is a triangle with three sides, I would expect to add three things together, and so I do. And when I'm going through this, you do it just like you've done everything else. There is a linear term, there's another linear term, there's another linear term. So V plus V plus V is going to be 3V, you guessed it. And now I do the same thing. The next thing I've got there is a constant term. So I look for all my other constant terms. There they are. 8 plus positive 5 would be 13. 13 plus positive 3 would be 16. Now I would want to put this in standard form. And there it is. 3V plus 16 is my perimeter. So that is all that's being asked on there. Uh, nothing more complicated than that. Just to show you one more example with a different figure. Find the perimeter, simplify your answer of this right here. So again, perimeter, it's just adding up all the sides. So pick a side to start from. I'll start from B minus 9. B minus 9 plus, and then just go around and get all the sides. B minus 8 plus 1 plus 2. And now you're going to add the polynomials just like you know how to do. Don't be astounded that there is more than one polynomial. That's fine. We can add those up. B plus B would be <laughs> 2B. And then I'm going to look for all my constant terms. And there I have them. Negative 9 plus negative 8 is going to give me negative 17. Negative 17 plus 1 is negative 16. And plus 2 is negative 14. Again, use a calculator if you need to. There is no shame in that. And so my simplified expression is 2b minus 14. So when I'm finding the perimeter, that's all there is. Good luck, my friends.